you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, I've been using a Microsoft uh, open source project called Power Toys from past couple months. It is one of the best productivity software. Uh, if you are an uh, ardent Windows user, you must install this piece where you can improve your productivity uh, to the greater heights. So this project got inspired by Windows 95 era Power Toys project. Now you can install this in Windows 10. So this comes with uh, three important utilities. Actually it was two, but today they got introduced a new feature called uh, Power Rename. So it has a uh, fancy zones uh, shortcut and power rename. So fancy zones is a Windows manager uh, for multiple monitors where you can uh, uh, arrange your windows uh, for your better productivity. And it also it has the shortcut. So whenever you press Windows key, it will appear the uh, shortcut information. And the third one is power rename. Uh, it's a new feature where you can uh, uh, rename your uh, files bulk using a search and replace or the regular expression. I will post a separate video on fancy zones and shortcut uh, in another occasion but today we will focus on power rename because most of the testers whether you are working on test automation or performance testing definitely you will be working on multiple test data files. So uh, renaming is a tedious task where you can uh, you, you could write a python script or you could write a, a windows shell program or batch script but uh, definitely this power rename uh, uh, will definitely help you with a lot of stuffs. So uh, apart from these utilities, in future they are going to release uh, the animated uh, GIF screen recorder and also maximize to new desktop widget and process terminate tool. So these are the stuffs utilities in the pipeline. But now we will see about the uh, renaming. So in this uh, sample uh, uh, demo uh, i have uh, two different set of files one i on have the jar files i, I took it from the jmeter uh, folder and i just created the uh, foo uh, uh, file names for the google docs uh, first you need to install the latest version of power toys so i have already installed so if you go to settings you could see the uh, information about the uh, what all things you have enabled in the power toys so right now i enable the fancy zones uh, power rename and shortcut guide so if we go to power rename you can click on the module review or module overview to see the uh, small uh, gif recording on how it works so whenever you install or enable this particular feature uh, it will add a menu uh, whenever you right click it will add a menu uh, power rename so to uh, use to make use of the power rename uh, we you need to select file so if you right click you could see the menu uh, power rename but if you're not selecting any file you don't see the power rename uh, option here so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all the jar and i'm going to uh, right click and i'm going to select power rename so whenever you click on power rename you will get a window uh, where uh, you can uh, enter the criteria for search and also you can uh, uh, replace the text and it has right now it has nine options uh, you can use regular expressions case sensitive uh, make match all occurrences exclude files subfolders uh, folders uh, items and also you can enumerate items item name only where you can uh, search for uh, the item name or if you want to replace the item extension you can check the item extension only so whenever you uh, select the files, you could see the preview. So right now I have selected around uh, 11 items. And uh, here I can uh, say I need to append uh, some text to all the file names. So right now it is starting with the name commons, but I need to append the world. So what I can do is I can uh, search for uh, commons. So here you can see it's automatically uh, giving a preview. So now I'm going to replace with uh, world comments. And if I uh, hit rename, so all the uh, file names will be replaced with the uh, world uh, comments name. So here you can see. But uh, if you accidentally renamed it, so you can undo it. So just press uh, Ctrl Z, 
it will automatically goes to the previous state. So let us change the name again. Right click, power rename, comments, hold, underscore, comments, and hit rename. So uh, it will take its own time based on the number of files you are working on. So if it is a very small number, it will be very quicker. If it is more, it will take its own time. So now we will see how to rename the uh, extension. So instead of gdoc, I am going to uh, change it to .text. So just select all the file and right click, power rename. And you, go, you can uh, um, check the item extension only. So here I'm going to check this box and I'm also entering uh, g doc and I'm, go I'm going to enter uh, replace with uh, txt. So just hit rename. So now all the g docs will be converted to dot uh, txt extension. So you can see it is a little bit stuttering but I think it might be I am having uh, less RAM or the uh, program needs some more improvement. Definitely it is not, uh, uh, it's still in um, in beta. It's, uh, I think the version is 0.12 version. Probably if it is reaches 1.2 or 2.2, you will see better improvements with respect to performance and uh, features. Okay, now let us uh, play with some uh, regular expression. So this power toys uses ECMAScript regular expression. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the file and I'm going to select power rename and here I'm going to check use regular expression and I'm going to search for the number. So first I'm going to enter the number, single digit number. Okay. And I'm going to add the parenthesis as well using the escape sequence. And I have another number. So again, I will enter one more number here. Okay, so now I'm going to enter bar underscore, say, uh, I'm not sure whether this will work, but let us give it a try or no. Let us give the uh, enumerate items. So here, okay, enumerate items. So now if you hit rename, it will automatically add the uh, bar and it will enumerate the item. So for underscore bar, uh, one, two, three, four, two, ten. Okay, so this is how you use your uh, regular expression uh, in power rename. Okay, there was a small glitch. I think my windows got uh, shut down unexpectedly. But yeah, it, it changed the values uh, to foo bar, except the first one because the regular expression is two digit number. So that is why it is it got uh, uh, omitted, but remaining got changed successfully. So definitely you can check it out, uh, Power Toys, uh, Power Rename. If you're working on a test automation project or performance testing where you want to rename the uh, files uh, in bulk, definitely you can uh, make use of uh, the power rename uh, utility. So thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to QA Insights for more such tutorials. Thank you. If you like my dad's